Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Des and today I'm taking you through an upper body Pilates reformer workout. This workout is going to hit the core, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and even the upper back. It is gonna give you that feel good burn and might leave you feeling a little shaky, but in the best way. I hope you'll join me. Let's get started. All right, you guys, we're gonna start on one red spring or one heavy spring. So get that on there and lie down on your backs. Just place your feet on the foot bar to start. Have your straps just available. We're gonna be using those right away, but first just place your heels on the bar. We're gonna warm up your core. So when you take a big inhale, you're in your neutral spine on your exhale, just tuck into your imprint. We're just gonna warm up your core to start today. So inhale, rocking back to neutral, exhale, press down into your imprint. Good. Couple more, we're just rocking through the pelvis and using your deep breathing. Inhale through your nose as you rock to neutral, exhale through your mouth. And at this point, your headrest can be up where it's comfortable. So take that up if it's not couple more this time I'm gonna just hold it into my imprint and I'm gonna get a hold of my straps both straps this is gonna feel really light you're gonna lift your legs into tabletop from here we're just gonna do arm circles and again we're just warming up through your arms so I want it to feel light and I want you to move nice and slow exhale down Inhale, float it around, trying to keep your legs in a 90 degree angle. Down and out and around, pushing your range. So we're going all the way down towards the carriage and then making like a full T, feeling your scapula glide along the carriage. Feeling your chest opening up, but keeping your ribs zipped. Two more. This is just gonna stretch and open up our shoulders to get us ready for the upper body workout. Last one, now I want you to circle the opposite way. Up and out and around, feeling nice and light. Thinking about your lats to pull down. Inhale, float it out and around. Finding that really nice open chest right here, out to your T and slowly pull down. Three more. And two. One. And around. Good. Bringing your arms up towards the ceiling, I'm gonna drop my left strap off to the side and then just place my left hand down onto the carriage. We wanna stay in your imprinted spine. Shoulders are down on the carriage and then pulling that arm down towards your hip and back up. So from here, I'm gonna advance it a little bit by straightening my legs up towards the ceiling. The whole time, just maintaining that reach. Exhale, feeling those obliques work to hold you in this position. We wanna focus most on not shifting in the body, keeping everything nice and stable, and you're soft through your elbow with the working arm. Good, so I'm gonna to start to drop my legs a little bit down towards the diagonal. If at any point you feel this in your low back, you can always go back to that bent knee or even cross your knees into your chest. If not, you're taking just like a tiny little reach on the diagonal, pulling that belly button down towards the floor. And two. Good, hold it down there on one. We're gonna take it out to a T, out to the side, so you're doing half a T. Your knees are gonna bend as you go out. And then I want you to just straighten them up towards the ceiling as you pull it back to your side. Inhale to bend, exhale, thinking about that side, pulling in, good. Really soft through your elbows, focusing on your opposite shoulder and rib. Sing down towards the carriage. 
Nice. You might not have as much range as you do with both arms out to the side. Listen to your body and if you feel any shifting, you might need to shorten your range. Three. Good. Exhale, two. And I want you to hold it in, hold those legs up to the sky on one. Turn your palm down. Now you're gonna bend at the elbow for a tricep press. And I want you to bend your right knee, reaching your left leg long. And then coming back up to the ceiling when you go up to your tricep press. So bending your right knee, left leg reaching long, and then bend to the tricep press. Right away, adding a roll up. So lots of abdominal work here as we work through that tricep. And again, your home base is just in that crisscross position, pulling your knees in. At any point, if you need to take that option, go back to that. Good. Let's do three. Good. And two. Hold it up there on one. I want you to reach your left hand behind your head. And you're going to continue just the tricep press. Keeping your body in that same position, right leg bent, left leg long. Tuck that chin down. Use your hand to support you, but try to roll up a little higher. Three. Two. Hold your tricep long on one. Now just bicycle the legs. Inhale for two. Exhale for two. Roll up a little bit higher. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Last set. Keep that belly pulling down. One. And bend both knees in. Relax through the arm. Nice work, you guys. Drop that strap off to the side. Open your arm up to that side and then rock your knees over to the left. Good. All right, finding your center, grab a hold of your opposite strap. Imprint your spine again, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna straighten those legs up to the ceiling right away. Exhale, pull down. Thinking about now your left lat. Pulling down the back. Good, shoulder blades are staying flat. Reaching those legs up towards the ceiling. <clears throat> and two. After this one, I'm starting to take my legs out on that slight diagonal angle as my arm comes down to my side. And again, this is optional. If not, you can keep the legs bent at the 90 degree angle or just keep them straight and take out the diagonal. Three more. Think about that belly button pulling down first, initiate. And two. Hold it down there and bend the legs. Turn your palm in. We're gonna take your arm out to the side and then you're gonna straighten your legs up towards the ceiling as your arm pulls in. Inhale out, exhale. Good, try to keep those shoulders equal. No shifting, big deep breaths. Elbows stay soft. Bend as you go out and straighten as you come in. Good, slide it down, four. Ooh, it burns in the shoulder, three. Two, hold it down to your side on one, turn the palm down. You're gonna bend at the elbow. As you extend, you're gonna bend your left knee and reach your right leg long. And again, legs meet up at the ceiling, tricep press, and then bend and roll up 
to that crunch option at any point. Yes, good. Reach those legs up towards the ceiling. Belly button down towards the floor. Tricep. And if this is a lot to think about, a lot of coordination through the body, again, just keep those legs in tabletop. It's just fun to add a little extra challenge. Three. Tricep press. Took the chin. Two. Hold this one up. One. Hold it there. Take your opposite hand behind your head. Now you're holding this position with your legs and you're gonna tricep press the left arm. Ooh. I don't know about you. I'm feeling that right oblique major. Double check your wrist that it's right in line. Four. Ooh. And three. Two. Hold it out there on one. Bicycle the legs. Inhale for two. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Try to open up the elbow. And breathe. Two more sets. Exhale, roll up a little bit higher. And one. Good. And bend those knees in. Lie your head down. Nice work, you guys. Drop that strap off to the side and open your arm out. Rock your knees to the opposite side. Ah, nice work, you guys. All right, I want you to drop your headrest down flat. We are gonna go into what's called a jackknife. So I want you to watch once so that no one is cranking their neck to look at the camera. So watch once, I'm gonna do it quickly. I'm gonna reach back and grab onto the actual carriage, nice and firm. I'm gonna reach my legs out to the diagonal and I'm gonna peel my spine up and off, reaching those toes back behind me and then pushing my hips up towards me, reaching your toes to the ceiling. Then my toes are gonna to reach back behind me again as I slowly roll back down. So you can watch one more time if you like or you can grab on and try to get started reaching up towards the sky and then roll back down. So try to listen to my voice. We want to focus on protecting your neck here. So look up towards the ceiling, hinge at the hip, reach those toes back behind you and then up to the ceiling, tucking and squeezing through your glutes to find that position reaching for the sky. Then as you start to roll your spine back down, your toes reach back behind you again and reach back out. <laughs> Good, big inhale here, exhale. <sighs> reach back behind you, then up to the ceiling. Now hinge at the hip and start to roll down. <sighs> nice work, you guys. The deeper you breathe here, the more power you're gonna have. Reach it back, reach it up. And roll it back down. <sighs> Good work. Three more, <laughs> reach it back. Moving nice and slow so that your carriage isn't rocking. Good, inhale to prepare. Couple more at your own pace. Reach back, then squeeze through the glutes, reach for the ceiling, hinge at the hip, roll down. Belly button to spine. Reach it up. Good, if you heard that, that was my carriage. Rolling back down. Last one, big inhale, make this your biggest one. Reach, now hinge. Belly button to spine to roll back down. Woo! You guys, you should be feeling that through your entire core. Place your feet on the foot bar and just rock your knees side to side. Amazing. Okay, we're coming up to seated for a second. And you're gonna go, or you're gonna stay on your one red. So, woo! All right, shake it out. We are gonna go to a kneeling position. You can come up to your toes at any point for this. So we're gonna do a long stretch. I'm gonna start on my knees just to kind of show you. You're in a plank from your head all the way down to your knees, or you're in a plank here. You're gonna press yourself back, inhale, exhale. Think about sliding your shoulders down the back. Inhale back, 
Exhale to pull yourself forward. Think about using your core to pull you. So if you're on your knees, it looks just like this. Slide and pull back. Trying to go as far as you can with still being able to make it back and not losing form through your rib cage and your core. All right, on the next one, when I come in, I'm gonna add a push up. Elbows out to the side and then back up. Press it back, long stretch, inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale down, exhale power up. So same thing on your knees, inhale back, reach it forward. Now you're gonna push up and back. And maybe you can stay on your toes when you do your long stretch and you need to drop down to your knees for the push-up. Do whatever's gonna work for you, but make sure it's a challenge. Maybe you can get in a couple push-ups with your knees off. We just got two more, you guys. Inhale back. Slide the shoulders down, push away from the bar. Engage your chest. Last one. And down, power up, and drop down to your knees. If you're not there, round through your back. Really, really good. Alrighty, so I'm gonna actually find a round back position here and staying on my knees now. Hands are gonna be a little bit closer and I want your elbows to point down because in a second we're gonna add a tricep push up with our round back knee stretch. But for now, think about tucking, making like a C curve with your body. I want you to maintain the C as your knees go back behind you. So they're not gonna go back near as far and then they're gonna pull in nice and quick. Inhale back, pull in nice and quick. Good. So I have all my fingers, including my thumb, going over the bar in order to add this tricep push up in a second. So it looks like this. If you wanna look, you're gonna bend as you curve and then you're gonna press up to a straight arm. Then you're gonna bend and curve in, press up. Yes, good. So lots of core coming in and then press up. If this just feels awkward or uncomfortable, you can go back to just that regular knee stretch. If not, we're just adding that little press and you have to be kind of intentional about this one because it is, it's a little bit funky. You got four and three. Good, two. We're gonna hold halfway, one, keep it round. You're gonna do just a little tricep press, eight. Seven, keep that tuck, six, five, four, Think like a little bounce, three, two. Hold it halfway on one, pulse it in with your knees. Seven, six, tuck, 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 belly to spine, relax the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's release to a flat back, almost to extension. And pull it back in. Awesome, you guys. And just rocking side to side. We're gonna switch now to just your half spring, your blue spring, medium tension spring, whatever that is for you. All right, so I'm on a blue on this machine. From here, we're gonna sit, so turn and face me. You're gonna sit like this. You're gonna be grabbing your strap. <clears throat> I'm gonna place my foot on my headrest and I'm going to place this hand right here behind me so that it feels like it's kind of right underneath my shoulder. From here we're going to reach straight up and down. So a little bit of shoulder work through this series. Good. <clears throat> Reaching straight up. And down. Think about lifting through your belly button. Try not to lift your shoulder into your ear. Last one. Watch to see where we're going. We're gonna push our hips forward and put our weight into our front foot. Coming up onto your knee, you're really wanting to push your hips forward and make a curve with your body. 
and then coming back down. So again, reaching up, think about reaching your arm back behind you and then back down. If you wanna go back to that original option at any point, you can take that. Just continue that reach straight up instead of adding the hinge. Good. Squeeze through your glutes. And four more. Connecting through your core as you reach that extension. Three. Good. Two. And last one. Coming back down. We're gonna bring your elbow up and now you're gonna rotate to the opposite side and back to center. Rotate and then back in. I guess I'm saying center, you're more like where your direction is, center. And then back. If seated, being seated in this position is uncomfortable at any point in your lower back or your hip, just take your legs crossed like this and continue that rotation. Good. Four more. Getting that rotation. Three. Two. And one. Good, you guys. We're gonna turn and face this angle, taking it into a bicep curl and release. And if the way your straps are set, you don't feel like you have quite enough range of motion here, you can either slide back a little bit or feel free to choke up on your ropes here. All right, so that you can get a full range. You're gonna get almost straight with your bicep. Try to lift up super tall, relax through your shoulders. You should be feeling that right arm or this working arm, I guess right for me. Two, hold it in on one, relax. We don't wanna feel any tension in the neck. If you do, lower your arm just a little bit, pulse it, and six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. Give that shoulder a little shake. All right, we're gonna turn and face your pulleys. Grab your opposite strap. We're gonna hit that other side in a minute. We can be seated here with legs straight or slightly bent depending on your hip flexors. If you have tightness, you wanna be able to sit up tension free in a neutral spine. From here, we're gonna reach your arms straight up and then release back down. As you go straight up, make sure that we're not flaring our rib cage open like this. We want it to stay zipped together and down. Good, so if we feel tension creeping up into your neck right away, don't take your arms quite as high. And you always have the option to switch. If you have that lighter spring, you can always take that option too. All right, we're gonna add on already. So we're gonna reach it up. Hold it out here. You're gonna open up to the side, feeling those shoulder blades just slide down. And then coming back up, keeping your shoulders down, relax, kind of make sure you can bobble your head and release. Again, reach it up. Woo, you're really gonna be feeling those stabilizers through your shoulders, you guys, big time through this. And back down. Reach it up, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Good. Three more. Reach it up. Staying nice and open through your chest. We're working all those posture muscles, which we all need. <laughs> we spend so much time being rounded forward over our devices. We need to correct our muscles during these exercises. So two, Ooh, open, reach, and back down, staying soft through your elbows. Last one, up, open, up, and release. Ooh, that is burning, you guys. Shake it out. Reach those arms straight forward. We're gonna be going into rotation now. So you're gonna rotate towards me and reach your opposite arm. You'll have slack in the rope. 
and then coming back to center. So still working that back side, but we're recruiting our obliques a little bit. Back to center, exhale, and back. Yes, rotate, and back. Big exhale, and back. Growing nice and tall through your spine. So if you're feeling like you wanna slouch at all, I'd rather you just bend your knees and continue that rotation. All right, we're gonna hold it on the first side and you're gonna pulse it. Reaching tall, eight, seven. Think more about the rotation than pulling back with your shoulder. Retracting through the scapula. Two, one, reach. Go to the other side, rotate. Use that pulsed breathing, nice and tall through your spine. And four, three, two, one, find your center, and good. Give yourself a little second to relax. Scoot your booty forward just a little bit here, and now we're actually gonna tuck into a round back. So we're gonna be opening your arms out to the side and then bringing them back in front of you. So I want you to think about your core really, really working here to stabilize. Initiate from your belly button right here. So exhale, belly button pulls in, exhale all the air out, inhale to bring your arms back together. Last one this way. Now we're gonna take it more into an open to the side. So think about like opening a newspaper over to one side and then come back to center, open to the other side and back to center. You should be feeling those shoulders, you guys. Good. And all right, so now I'm gonna add, the leg is gonna lift towards the angle that I'm opening and then come back to center. This is gonna recruit those obliques a little bit more. See if you can round back a little further, lean towards your bar, just enough that you almost feel like you're gonna fall, <laughs> but don't. Yes, so you can feel a little shaking through the core if you try to push that range of motion. Make sure your belly button's pulling in. Two more each side. And open. Last one. And one. Yes, beautiful. Come back up, drop the opposite strap. We're gonna go to the other side for your shoulder work. So we're sitting back into this position. Hand is gonna be right underneath you. Hand, or your foot is gonna be right on your headrest. You're gonna reach straight up and down. Whew, so this shoulder is tired. So it's normal if you're feeling a little bit more fatigued on this side, because we just did all that shoulder work facing back. But this isn't gonna be very long, you guys. Power through, stay focused, use your breath. Last two, reaching up, and one. All right, using that back arm to support you, you're gonna reach up, push your hips forward. Good, and come back down nice and slow. Inhale to prepare, exhale, push your hips forward, coming up onto your standing knee, and then release back down. This is gonna open up your chest, getting that extension moment while working through your shoulder. Your standing arm is working to support you through your tricep and deltoids. Three more, full range, lifting up tall, push those hips forward, connecting through your core still. And two. Good. And one. Yes, sitting back down, bring your elbow up, make sure you've relaxed through your neck and shoulders and you're gonna punch and rotate. Good. Punch and rotate. Nice work. Up nice and tall. 
Exhale, three. And two. One. Good. Find your diagonal angle to the back. Scooch back if you need to. Bicep curl. Lifting super tall through your chest. Woo, this arm is pretty spent, so I feel it too. Choke up on the rope if you need it. Two and one. We're gonna pulse it, here we go. Eight, seven, six. You can always use the opposite arm if you need it. Four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! All right, you guys, shake it out. We have two more exercises and we will be stretching it out. So this one's kind of a fun and different one. I want you to place your hands on your rails and you're gonna take your knees to the outside of your shoulder blocks. Then I want you to gently just place your hips down onto your carriage. So your chest is gonna be off and this can be one option or you can grab onto your actual extender depending on if your hands feel slippery. I want you to press back here into a long line. Now think about sliding your shoulder blades down first, lifting up through your belly button second and then opening up to extension here and release back down. Inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder blades down and back. So you're gonna tighten just a little bit through your glutes, not clenching, just tightening a little bit to support you, but really, really focus on lifting up through your core. Good. Slide the shoulder blades down, lifting up, 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 sliding it back down. So if you're grabbing onto the rails, it's gonna be the same thing here, sliding down. Good, let's do three more, slide it and lift. You choose your range. So. You don't need to be coming as high as me. You can come just right about here, keeping it more of a flat back or just a gentle extension. Listen to your body and especially your low back. Last one. And release. Yes, you guys, good. Slowly take your hands back to the rails and you're gonna come back to a kneeling position with your knees on the outside. So it's a little bit wider stance. This is gonna be your first option or your option if you have a taller reformer. This will probably be the option that you have to take. So you're gonna be in a flat back, push that carriage away from you. Knees are gonna go back and forth. All right, if you wanna take a little bit more challenging option here, or if your reformer is short to the floor like mine, I want you to actually take your feet off to the side and grab onto the front of the carriage and we were gonna think about pulling back, using your core to initiate. Try to use your core to pull instead of using your arms. It's definitely a mind game. You got four. Exhale, three. Think about wrapping like your obliques and lifting your belly button. Last one. Now you're gonna round it a little bit. So think about tucking through your tailbone, rounding it, and then releasing back. Exhale, round. Belly button to spine, release it back. It's very small. Really, really sitting, you guys. Hips should be underneath your shoulders. We got five. And four, so you're still on your knees if you're taking that option. Two. And last one and release. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're gonna come back onto your knees if you're not, and you're gonna go to one red spring. All righty, we're gonna start to cool down the body. So sit towards me into your mermaid stretch, and you're gonna place one hand here, the other arm open, and you're going up and over, and release back. Woo, my shoulders are shaky. You're gonna lift up and go to the other side. Yes, good. Inhale up, exhale over. 
breathing through it. Ooh, it should feel so nice. Opening up through your shoulders. Good. Inhale up. Exhale over. Ooh. Really good. Let's go into that full mermaid. Just one set here, up and over. Turn and square off your arms. Three quick push-ups. Two. One. Straighten through the arms, lifting up, opening up through your chest. Big inhale. Exhale, back and away. And take your hand back to center. Curve it over. Lift and finishing to the other side. Oh, that should feel so good through your shoulders. I want you to take this outside arm across your body. Relax your shoulders down. Kind of looking side to side. We did a lot of shoulder work today. Take your arm up and over. Grab. Ooh, feeling that stretch through your tricep. Good. Shake it out. Flip over to the other side. <clears throat> All right, take your hand in front of you. Roll those shoulders down and back. Place your hand in front of your shoulder slightly. You're gonna press up and over. Lifting up tall. And over to the other side. And lift up. And over. Ah, it feels so nice, you guys. Inhale and exhale, try to really open up through your spine, lifting it up tall first, then over so you can feel that yummy stretch through your obliques and get that blood and oxygen flowing into your spine. And as you reach up with your arms, that should open up and get that stretch in through your shoulders. Good. Now let's go into the full mermaid on this side. Up and over, turn and square off. Lift up through your belly, three push-ups. Two. One. Hold your arms straight, dive your head up, slide your shoulders down. Big inhale and exhale away, hold it there. Take your hand back to center, curve it over, lift up and finish to the other side. Good, taking your outside arm across, pulling your shoulder down away from your ear, kind of looking side to side. Good, take that same arm up and over for a tricep stretch, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. You guys did so great, you should be proud of yourselves. My shoulders and arms are dead. Hopefully you got some good core work as well. And let's step off to the side. We're gonna do one forward fold, just cause it always feels amazing. We're gonna just hold it down here, shake it out, release any tension you have remaining in your upper body. Start to roll up, soften through your knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Head is gonna come up last and roll those shoulders back to finish. Woo, you guys, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this upper body workout. Hopefully it gave you a good burn. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, shoot me a comment, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel to get notified for more workouts. Also follow me on Instagram for more workout content, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much.